Dear friends, now in this session, we are going to discuss about post to data checks in tally application. First, you should understand what is a regular check, what is post to data check, right? For example, you are receiving check on 1st April. On the check, the date mentioned as 1st April, then it's called as a regular check. Now, the second one is that post to data check. We are receiving check on 1st April. On the check, the date mentioned as 10th April. Then it's called as post to data check. Very simple. A check which is written with a future date. It's called as post to data check. So my doubt is that, yes, you received a check on 1st April. On the check, the date mentioned as 10th April. So my question is that in tally application, are you going to record in tally on 1st April or will you record it on 10th April? See. Till 10th April, we can't deposit the check in the bank for clearance because it is dated to 10th April. If you send it for clearance before 10th April, the check will get bounced. So we can't send send it for bank for clearance. So we need we need to kept it with us only. So now my question is that if you record on 1st April, if you record on 1st April, directly your bank balance will get increased as per your book of account, but not really in the real time bank. So what happens? We can't record on 1st April. Now, if we record it on 10th April, if you record it on 10th April, if your boss is asking you the statement of accounts on 5th April, so we can't say whether the check is received or not. Yes or no? So there is some difficulties. If you record the check on 1st April, automatically your bank balances are increased, but not really in the bank. So there is a mismatch between your book of accounts and uh, uh, bank actual book of accounts. So we can't record on 1st April. And if you record it on 10th April, you cannot understand what is your book of account status on 5th April. So for that, yes, Tally developed a solution called as maintaining post related checks. So very simple. Only one thing to be remember. Yes. If you, re if you are receiving any post to data check, you need to record on the date of receipt. But only one thing to be done. You need to convert the regular watches into pending watches. Are understanding? Yes. If you are receiving check on 1st April, which is dated to 10th April, in tally application, you just record it on 1st April. But the thing is, you need to convert the regular voucher into pending voucher. If you do not convert regular voucher into pending voucher, automatically your bank balances will get increased. Now we need to record the transaction, but my book of account should not get affected with that respective check values, right? So the what will do mean? We just convert the regular voucher into pending vouchers. So on 1st April, when you are receiving a check, you just record it on a receipt voucher. If, it, if you are receiving check, you record it on receipt voucher. If you are giving check, you record it on payment voucher, right? But the thing is, you need to convert the regular vouchers into pending vouchers. Right, then you simply record the voucher. A voucher will be recorded, but not your book of account is not going to be affected with the respective values. The, when the check was cleared in the bank, again just convert from pending voucher to a regular voucher in order to get the effect of those values. Once again, I repeat if you are receiving any pending check, you just record it on tally application on the date of receipt. Right, but the thing is, you need to convert the regular voucher into pending voucher in order to get not any effect in your book of accounts. When the check was being cleared by the banker, again on the date of clearance, you need to convert the pending voucher into a regular voucher. You need to get an effect of your book of accounts. So now we'll just see the live. So now just find out the question from the uh, video notes and the question is I'm, ju I'm just reading the question once again for your reference you, we just kept it, the question paper in the uh, video notes so from the video notes you just collect the notes so now with the question is that a uh, sold see now we have some opening balance first of all having opening stock of maruti cards 100 numbers at the rate of 3 lakh 80 each having opening stock of maruti card 100 numbers at the rate of 3 lakh 80 each totally we have 100 number of opening stock of maruti cards and the value of the day is is 3 lakh 80 now it's time to pass a sales sold one maruti car sold one maruti car to mr mukesh at the rate of 4 lakhs on 1st april we just sold one maruti car to mr mukesh we just sold one maruti car to mr mukesh on 1st april at the rate of 4 lakhs and next one is that the, se the second line on 1st april received rupees 1 lakh as a down payment yes make sure that on 1st april first we are selling one maruti car at the rate of 4 lakhs 
out of 4 lakhs on 1st April you collected 1 lakh as a down payment and what is the remaining outstanding the remaining outstanding is 3 lakhs and the next question is that on 1st April 2018 received on 1st April received 3 post dated checks for remaining outstanding see on 1st April first we sold for 4 lakhs out of 4 lakhs 1 lakh down payment received and the remaining outstanding is 3 lakhs for these 3 lakhs he has given total 3 post dated checks so each check contains 1 1 lakh and the condition is that each check is due on first of every month okay so that means we are receiving the checks on 1st April three checks and the three checks are having three individual first half every month that means one is due on may one is due on june and other one is due on july so may june and july yes we are receiving all the checks on first april but one check is due on may one check is due on june another check is due on july now we'll just see that how to record these transactions in tally application right so first i'm just going to create a new company the same so I'm just going to create a new company in the name of a post dated checks. Yes, it's what just saved as regular. See, once creating company, we have the first one is that having opening stock of Marathi cards, 100 numbers at the rate of 3,80,000 each. So first we need to create an item, right? See, you also can create the item directly in the sales voucher during recording the voucher, right? But now, ever if you have any opening stock, you never use Alt plus C to create ledger or even to create item. If you have any if you have any opening stocks or opening balances, you need to follow the traditional method just by going step to inventory info, stock items and create. So now here I am going to create the stock item as Marathi cards. And these Marathi cards under the measurement of numbers, I am just going to create the measurement of numbers. So I just all place the number. And now we have the opening stock of 100 at the rate of 3,80,000 each. So I am just going to enter the 100 number of opening stock as well as 3,80,000 is the rate per each car. Once after once creating the Marathi card, now you, you, have, you, you have some stock in your hand, right? So now you can sell the goods to your customers just come back and just go i'm just going to show the stock first of all so i'm just opening the stock yes we have the available stock in our hand that is 100 number at the rate of 3 lakh 80 thousand each so total the value is 3 uh, uh, 3 crore 80 lakhs yes so now i'm just going to record the sales voucher just go back to accounting voucher f8 sales voucher there we are selling goods to mr mukesh now here mr mukesh ledger was not yet created right so if you want to create anything in tally application instantly just press directly alt plus c so you now here i'm going to press alt plus c and the ledger name is mr mukesh yes mr mukesh comes under sundry data a person who is buying goods from you on credit and who is liable to make the payment towards you in the future so he comes under sundry data a person who is buying goods from us on credit who is liable to make the payment in the future to us so comes under sunny data as a person and i don't need any installment so no and directly we have of course india then control plus a save yes i just created a ledger called as mr mukesh right so now i'm just going to record the voucher all plus c sales comes under sales account and save and we are selling Maruti car, we are selling Maruti car one number at the rate of 4 lakhs each one. So I am just going to record in sales voucher as we are select, sell, selling goods to Mr. Mukesh on credit basis. The total sale value is around 4 lakhs. So simply save the voucher. Now the total liability, if you want to open control plus N calculator and type Mr. Mukesh. If when you search for the name, if you want to type for Mukesh, you may see that the system is showing a 4 lakhs debit. Debit is nothing but data. So he is liable to make the payment for us for rupees 4 lakhs. So the total liability from Mr. Mukesh is 4 lakhs, right? Yes, out of these 4 lakhs, now the total liability is, total amount to be received from Mr. Mukesh is 4 lakhs. Out of 4 lakhs, he has given total rupees 1 lakh as a down payment. So we are receiving rupees 1 lakh. So just go back to receipt voucher, press F6. And here in the receipt voucher F6, I am just going to see, we are receiving the money from Kumar in the form of cash. So I am selecting the form of account as cash and down from the party Mr. Mukesh. You may see that the current closing balance is going to show, going to be shown as 4 lakhs. 
out of 4 lakhs we have collected rupees 1 lakh as a down payment so in the narration you just mentioned that how why we are receiving so received received rupees 1 lakh as received rupees 1 lakh as a down payment so we just received yeah, we just we sold goods for 4 lakhs out of 4 lakhs we have collected rupees 1 lakh as a down payment on 1st april so we sold goods to mr mukesh on 1st april and we also recorded receipt voucher on 1st april the remaining liability for mr mukesh is total 3 lakhs control plus a save now for these 3 lakhs on 1st april received Three post dated checks for remaining outstanding. Acha, remaining outstanding is three lakhs and received number of checks is three. So total uh, uh, each check contains one one lakh, right? So yes, we received total three checks for three lakhs. So and the condition is that each check is due on first of May. Each check is due on first of every month. So one is due on May, another one is due on June and uh, July, right? Now we are going to record a post dated check. Before that, I just show you what will happen if you do not create, if you do not convert the regular voucher into pending voucher. See by default all the vouchers all the all the vouchers all counter voucher payment voucher receipt voucher journal voucher sales voucher and purchase voucher all the vouchers are in the regular mode whatever you are going to record in this voucher the values will be affected in your book of account but now what i want to do is i wanted to record the voucher at the same time i don't want to get any effect of this transaction into my actual book of account i just wanted to record three pending i just wanted to record three vouchers about for three lakh but my bank balance should not increase to three lakhs because i'm receiving the check but i'm not sending the check for clearance to the banker right so that's what i just wanted to record for my for my reminder for my uh, internal calculation but i don't want to get any effect on my book of account in the bank right yes so what i'll do means if you record anything in this receipt voucher automatically your book of account will get increased but now what i want to do is i just wanted to record the voucher but my book of account should not get any affected so that's what i am going to enable a feature is called as maintaining optional vouchers so very simple from tally main page press f11 and just go to accounting features and there you just go back to use reversing journals and optional vouchers yes use reversing journals and optional vouchers yes after once enabling this feature just come back right so now in the accounting voucher in the receipt voucher before recording the voucher now this is a regular receipt voucher now i need to convert this regular receipt voucher into pending receipt voucher by pressing ctrl plus t and ctrl plus l ctrl plus t for post dated and the optional is nothing but pending so post dated pending future dated pending now we are going to pass a pending voucher and now after once pressing ctrl plus t plus l you may record any type of the voucher and whatever you are going to record in this voucher there will be no impact on your book of accounts very simple now we are receiving checks right so we need to we need to take the bank so i'm just creating some bank name some x bank x bank account x bank comes uh, x bank account comes under bank account i just created a bank ledger yes the bank the bank name is called x bank now we are receiving check from mr mukesh and yes we are receiving it on 1st april we are receiving the check on 1st april which is due on 1st may but in tally application i'm going to record as it on 1st april but i'm recording in a pending voucher so there will be no effect in in my actual book of account of bank and the check value is total 1 lakh and press enter 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 now here you may see that now the system is asking you what was the instrument number and the instrument number is 100101 and the what is the instrument date check number and the check dated to first of may see here you may see the date here i am recording the check on first april which is due on first may that's what i am converting the regular voucher into pending voucher and now the bank we have a bank account in x bank account and we are receiving check from y bank maybe here i'm selecting some any of the bank ledger don't worry you may select you just select your respective bank but now i'm selecting a syndicate bank of india and the pdc received a date is first of april ensure that we are recording the transaction on first april and pdc received on first april and the check is dated to first may just mention the check number and check dated to we are receiving check on first april we are recording check on first april which is dated to first of may that's what we are converting the regular voucher into pending voucher that's what and the pdc notice first 
PDC. Just now we just recorded only one pending voucher. Likely you need to record two more pending vouchers. Ensure that you are not allowed to record three entries in a single voucher because each and every check have its own individual due date and individual check number. So you are not allowed to record the three lakhs in a single voucher. You need to take three individual vouchers for three individual checks. Again, now it is it is it is move back to regular. Again, we need to convert into pending. Again, by pressing Control plus T, comma Control plus L. Once converting the regular check into a pending check, again you just pass the voucher X Bank from Mukesh rupees one lakh. And of course, again we are recording. We are recording it. Uh, we are recording it on uh, 1st of April. At uh, down, the check number is 100102, 100102, and the instrument dated to 1st of June. The first one is May, and the second one is June. So the bank is about again Syndicate Bank. Next one is that uh, it is due on. It is received on 1st of April, and this is second. Uh, second PDC. Yes, now we need to record one more entry. Again, we need to convert this regular receipt into pending receipt by pressing Ctrl plus T, comma L. And again, select the bank. We are recording it on 1st April on the Mr. Mukesh, rupees 1 lakh, 1 lakh and the check number 100103 dated to 1st of, one is dated to May, June and now it is July and now the bank name is Syndicate Bank again, 1st of April received, received on 1st April and this is third, this is third PDC. Now I just recorded three pending vouchers. May ensure that first I just recorded sales voucher on 1st April and again 1 lakh down payment receipt voucher on 1st April and three pending receipt voucher on 1st April but I just converted the three regular voucher into pending voucher. Then after once recording all this thing, if you want to open calculator and type Mr. Mukesh, Type Mr. Mukesh, still the system is showing 3 lakhs. Out of 4 lakhs, you collected 1 lakh down payment. The remaining outstanding is 3 lakhs. Yes, of course, we recorded 3 checks. We collected 3 checks because we just recorded it on pending. So, still it is showing amount receivable is 3 lakhs. So, if you once go to, if you once go to display account books, if you once go to display and account books and the ledger, if you open, if you open uh, uh, Mr. Mukesh ledger, you may see that press alt f2 from blank and even key uh, to blank you may see that in the entries that we which we recorded in the name of mr mukesh is only two actually in the name of mr mukesh we recorded total five entries one sale a down payment to cash and three pending check but out of that only two entries are going to be displayed because these three entries are we just recorded it on pending so there will be no impact on your actual book of accounts right yes so all these things are happening on 1st April. On 1st April sold goods for 4 lakhs recorded on sales voucher. On 1st April collected 1 lakh down payment recorded, on, re recorded it on receipt voucher on 1st April. But now again we recorded 3 entries in the receipt voucher but we just converted this regular voucher into pending voucher. So you cannot observe those transactions in your actual book of account. Now we are on live on 1st May. On 1st May just assume that April was passes. Now we are on 1st May. So on 1st May we just open the check in our uh, counter or uh, in our draw wherever it is wherever it is available and we just seen that okay it is due on 1st May so we just went off to the banker and there we just deposited check for clearance and the check was being cleared by the banker on 1st May the first PDC was deposited and 1st May the first PDC was cleared by the banker so now what we need to do is we need to convert on 1st May we need to convert out of three, we need to convert one pending check into a regular check. You need to show the effect of thus one lakh in your book of account. So what I'm going to do is first team. If you want to convert any pending voucher into a regular first, you need to open the pending voucher register, right? So all the pending vouchers are listed and all pending vouchers are recorded somewhere. If you want to convert the pending vouchers into regular voucher first, you need to open the register, right? And make sure that to open post to dated voucher register, just go to display. Next, just go to exception reports. These are all not included in your book of account. Exception, which is not recorded in your actual book. Exception out of out of the report. These are all only exception reports, which is not included in your actual reports. Now we are going to open exception reports. There you may see that post to dated 
vouchers if you once open post dated vouchers there you may see that acha we recorded total three pending vouchers but it is not going to display even at least one check yes because we recorded all the pending vouchers on 1st april and the report is going to be show for 2nd april that's why you just press here alt f2 and keep from blank and to blank then the system will display total list of pending checks that you recorded the throughout the year right so now mr mukhi yes in the name of mr mukhi we have recorded total three entries out of three the first pdc is going to be clear on first may is clear right so now whenever we are recording the check on the date of activity is first april but now when the check was clear the date of activity is first may so just press f2 and change date of the voucher as first may the day that when we recorded it is first april the day when it is cleared it is first of may so on that time the date of activity is first april now the date of activity time is first of may so just change the date and after that see will you keep saving this voucher again in pending or see now the check was clear now we need to show this one lakh in your backup account right so now we need to convert again the pending voucher into regular very simple see how we converted regular voucher into pending by pressing control plus t and l right the same key control plus t and l is used to convert a pending voucher into regular very simple control plus t plus l is a function key which is used to switch between regular voucher and pending voucher if you press control plus t plus l on a regular voucher it converts into pending on a pending voucher if you press control plus t plus l it converts into regular and directly save the voucher once again on first may the check was cleared so open first pdc change the date of activity and just make it uh, regularize and directly press control plus a after once converting if you once open the calculator and type name mr mukesh now if you want see that now you may see that the liability was reduced from 3 lakhs to 2 lakhs out of three pending checks one check was cleared and the remaining liability what is remaining liability the remaining liability is 2 lakh for this remaining liability we have again two checks again assume that even may also passes away now we are on 1st of june and the third one is that now assume that uh, may was passed away now we are on 1st of june on 1st of june we just deposited the second post dated check in the bank but the check was bounced maybe the reason is maybe the counter party don't have the sufficient balance in their account or maybe mismatch of signature anything uh, any, maybe the reason whatever it may be so the check was bounced so now what will do means if the if the check is really bounced the banker see now we need to cancel the banker is bounced so in the tally application whatever pending check that you recorded you need to cancel the voucher very simple just open the voucher and now on the date of cancellation what is the what is the date the date of activity is 1st of june the date of activity is 1st of june see on 1st april you can treat this check as a pending voucher but on 1st of june we are on we are on live on 1st of june on 1st of june if it is dated to future then you can treat the check as future now we are on 1st of june so on 1st of june this check cannot be treated as pending check so press control plus t plus l to move back to a regular check yes on 1st april we recorded it on for we, we recorded we, we recorded it for june so we are on the day of 1st april we are treating this as a pending check but on 1st of june we cannot treat this check as a pending check because we are on live we are on 1st of we are because we are on 1st of june even the check the date has also mentioned as 1st of june so we cannot treat this check as a pending check. we just converted into a regular but before saving the voucher you just write the before say before cancelling the voucher you just write the narration check number check number 100102 was bounced because of what you just write the reason that why the check was cancelled the reason then press enter and again press backspace to come back to narration and directly press alt plus x yes you never use the function key alt plus d to delete the transaction if you delete the transaction in the future we cannot get these references which check is cancelled and why it was cancelled why it was bounced right so to 
to to have a references instead of deleting the voucher we are simply cancelling the voucher so after once writing the narration press enter and again press backspace to move back to ledger and now just press alt plus x if you once cancel the voucher the data was erased the data was erased but not narration if you want to in the future if you want to go to display on the day book and click on period and press keep from blank as well as to blank then here you may see that the check which is recorded cancelled so the voucher information was erased but not the narration so through this narration in the future if you have any difficulties on the time of bank reconciliation you may take the help of these narrations right so this will help you so instead of deleting the voucher you just cancel the voucher and make sure that before cancelling the voucher you write the description in the narration right now out of three pending checks one check is cleared on first may and the second check is bounced on 1st of june now one more check is due on 1st of july so what have what's happening on 1st of july on 1st july the third pdc was purchased by mr mukesh acha on on 1st july the third pdc was purchased by mr mukesh how a check can be purchased very simple he took back his old check and given rupees 1 lakh in the form of cash is a matter is check or cash or the money yes see there is no point of whether we are receiving the form of cash or bank the point is we need to collect the money yes that's it so yes we collected he took back his old check and given rupees 10000 given rupees 1 lakh as in the form of cash is called as purchase just exchanged his check with the cash so now go to display exception reports and open post to dated voters and press alt f2 keep from blank and to blank and here you may see that one check out of three one is cleared on first of may and other one is cancelled on first of june third one is in pending so now this check was purchased right so what is the date of activity the date of activity is first of july on first of july will you treat that will you treat this check as a pending check still or the regular check now it is regular control plus t and l but before saving the voucher you need to change the account from bank to cash because we are not receiving this 1 lakh in the form of cash we are receiving this 1 lakh in the form of cash so select here cash then in the narration you may write that check number 100103 was purchased by cash control plus a save that's it now after once recording if you once open calculator and type the name mr mukesh if you now see there out of 4 lakhs we collected down payment 1 lakh the second check also clear out of 4 lakhs the first we collected 1 lakh down payment and the second on and on first may the first pdc was cleared and again on first june the second pdc was bounced again on first july the third pdc was cleared so there is one pending that is the second check was bounced and we have not record the 1 lakh rupees from the bank from the party so still the 1 lakh is going to show as outstanding if you once open the balance sheet if you once go to balance sheet and just simply click on a detail there you may see that out of 4 lakhs 1 lakh is still showing in pending and the bank cash in hand is 2 lakhs down payment to 1 lakh and the last check was purchased by cash so 1 lakh plus 1 lakh total cash by cash available 2 lakhs the next one is that bank accounts out of 3 checks only first one is cleared second one bounced third one purchased by cash so only 1 lakh is available in the bank so this is how we manage post dated checks in tally application thank you